Good morning, day 311. Ah, that's kind of a gold number. Um, practicing what you preach. Oh, we don't like to always hear that one, right? We just like to preach. <laughs> we don't wanna do, like walk the walk and walk our talk. Uh, but we like to point it out with others. We like to talk a lot. Um, anybody else like that? <laughs> Oh boy, I was I was a lot like that at one point. Or I would just talk a lot about some of the things I was doing that I was kind of maybe proud of or where I was finding my goodness and let's ignore the glaring holes. <laughs> like, what? don't pay attention to that. Just look at all this other stuff that I'm trying so hard at and, and I'm doing okay there. Yeah, and well, well, not that we're expected to be, to be perfect at all. Um, we're human. We're, we're not. But so Paul is kind of, he's handing the baton here to Timothy, who these letters are named after. And Timothy evidently is a little young. And, you know, um, so he's probably got to work just a little bit harder to kind of prove himself. And so Paul's encouraging him like to um, practice what he's teaching, uh, be a student, always a good teacher is always also a student and is a follower, you know, like they're doing the things, their work, they're kind of preaching to themselves, preaching to the choir. And you know, he is talking about how easily people will be deceived. God made all food. He talks about, he starts off talking about food and even marriage um, and is warning him that there will be false teachers that are going to sound pretty good because they're going to start trying to put rules in place again. And we humans, we like a good rule <laughs> because like that is where we can find our goodness. We're like, oh, I'm going to have to try hard to do that. Or, oh, I'm already doing that. Oh, I'm good. We, we like rules. We love rules. But Paul's saying, no, God made everything. And as long as you give thanks for it and you know that he made it, you're free to eat it. You're free to marry. God created these things. Um, so don't don't fall for any kind of false false teaching. And one of the ways we do that is that we stay close to the material that we're teaching. Sometimes as teachers, um, whether you're a parent or a leader or um, you're actually a leader at work, we're all leaders, even if we've never thought of ourselves that way. It's easy kind of when you already know something to kind of detach from something. The, like the truth of it, it just becomes rote, like memorization. It's like, uh, blah, 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 blah. And then you're not really staying connected <clears throat> to it. Um, like at a deeper place, like you kind of get lazy, complacent. Those are words that come in. It's like, oh yeah. And then you think that you're doing something or that you know something and really you're not. Um, I actually had a moment like this last week when I was preparing some material for one of my classes and I was putting something out there that I teach regularly. I'm like, oh, I got this. Like, I can just do this in my sleep and I know all the things. And then as I was really putting it together, I was like, huh, I'm not doing that thing right there. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I thought I, here I was a little high and mighty about this. And I hadn't really focused on this thing over here. I was um, not, yeah. So, lesson learned. I was like, whew. And he says, be of spiritual, um, sorry, there's something over there that was just distracting me, getting my attention. By the way, beautiful, beautiful sunrise here this morning. Um, He's saying when you stay connected to the material, your faith in it, your like attention to constantly be a reminding, like go all in, throw yourself into your activities, but that the, you will be nourished. You'll be nourished. So this is why we have to really like 
be more intentional. Don't just go, oh yeah, I've got it. It's so easy to do that. Believe me, again, just gave an example of really trying to um, make sure that you, because when you're a leader and a teacher, you're also by default a role model and an example. And we've talked, I have talked a lot about I'm just looking out there, sorry, with the uh, ducks just swimming along, so cute. Um, how, you know, we need to be practicing what we preach. People are watching, we're wa watching us, how our actions, like your actions speak so loud, people can't hear what you're saying. So are your words lining up? with your internal values, with what you're talking about, what you're teaching, whatever the subject material is. See how these things have, even though we're reading the Bible, there's such practical application beyond just our faith. Um, it is important, you know, with faith, uh, certainly, but they're so, I mean, it's just such a practical book. Um, uh, teaching and wisdom and how to be a good teacher and Paul says especially because you're young Timothy people are going to be watching you even more closely so make sure you throw yourself into all your activities and be diligent be faithful be in intentional like make sure that your actions are lining up with what you're professing to believe what you're professoring about and teaching about and preaching about. And again, it's not perfect. Like I, I'm a still, I'm even a better teacher because of my imperfections, because I'm willing to be vulnerable about it. And I can look at myself honestly and go, Oh, wow. Miss that one. And then that is also a teaching moment too. So it's not about being perfect. No, far from it. It's about even being honest and vulnerable and doing our best. That is like the key message. I think if you could kind of um, sum up all of Paul's teachings in a nutshell, it's like, do your best and you'll have a clear conscience. Do your best. Like the, your best is always like possible. And even when... There are days when uh, we're off, we're not doing it, you know, all, but that is still always our best. And how do we know that? Because we're human and we make mistakes. We forget momentarily, we're tired, we're hungry, we get caught up in human relationships. This isn't about being perfect at all. It's about doing your best, kind of going all in with what you believe trying to trying to be as consistent as you can and even part of doing your best is being honest and going oh wow you're right guys i didn't i didn't get that right the other day i'm sorry i'm human we give each other we encourage each other with our honesty and our vulnerability and but if we're if we're not doing our best that shows itself too and then we get defensive that's when we try to kind of want to be perfect or we can get really defensive angry if somebody points something out to us we're like oh no 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 and we don't like to be held accountable um but when we're doing our best that kind of stuff doesn't get our defenses and our ego is riled up because then we're like, oh yeah. And we, then we can have an honest dialogue and we can accept um, honest feedback and even um, potentially criticism. Because when everybody's in it to win it, uh, we all win. And when we're all for each other and it's about the faith and about the thing versus our egos, um, then we don't have to take things as personally. So anyway, that's what I'm learning and trying to practice. Um, 
because it's a learning process. Becoming takes a long time. It takes a long time when you've been doing things one way and then trying to do things a new way. There's this in-between time and you're always in an in-between time because there's never a point of arrival. <laughs> so just do your best. Try to practice what you preach and things will be all right. But be honest and try to really subdue that ego um, and life will be much more enjoyable. The ego uh, makes life hard when you listen to that and when you focus on what it's trying to say. Well, it always takes us down a wrong path, like 100% of the time. So, all right. Have a great day. Um, tomorrow, today was Second Timothy. No, First Timothy. I'm already like getting ahead of myself. First Timothy chapter four. Tomorrow we're going to do chapter five and then chapter six and so on. All right. Bye.